everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Almost at Alpha 3, but no, that is not true. We are in the beta now. If you guys saw a couple hours ago, today, uh, November 8th, I put up my beta overview video, kind of going over all the new content and features the game has. Not all of them, just a large, uh, large portion of them. But now we are starting on our brand new sandbox park. I mentioned in the past what I wanted to do, and we're going to be doing a science fiction based park. Uh, the first section we're working on is based off of just the uh, the science fiction parts that the game currently has. Uh, we're going to expand more into alternate sci-fi universes and things like that in the future as we go along. But for now, I wanted a really cool grand entrance here. So we're going to be building a very large spaceport based off of just the sci-fi theme that the game currently has. And I am so excited, guys. Oh, I just want to play this game all day. And I will, because it's my job. Haha. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. So, uh, large plaza here. They fixed a lot of the path issues and stuff so we can have this nice flat black plaza. It's completely, uh, one piece instead of having the little, like, posts in between them. So it looks great. Super shiny. It almost looks like water. Some people are walking around. It looks like they're floating around in water. Pretty cool. Uh, since all this stuff is brand new to the game, it's gonna take me a little bit to to figure out what looks good. Uh, remember I haven't played about this stuff uh, much more than you guys. It's all new to me and I'm having fun figuring it out so th some things are gonna look good, some things are gonna look not so good. Actually, I think this whole thing comes out pretty well. Uh, it was a little rough at the start, but I, I started liking it. I love these light panels they added in. So you see those uh, rectangles, actually light panels, they actually do illuminate at night. It's so cool. And the fact that I can just control the, the lighting whenever I want makes it super easy because I'm like, okay, I want to see how this lighting looks. Oh, switch tonight. Look good. Go back today. Things like that. Hopefully no one's epileptic. So I do switch around a lot. Well, not too often. Okay, so just some nice tall walls here. I was going to put some concessions in here. We end up doing just an information stand and a restroom. We didn't want food or anything yet in the park. Just a restroom and an information stand. And I will be doing the uh, priority passes for some of the rides. Not all the rides, but definitely some of them they'll uh, be useful for. So people will be able to go buy them here. Trying out some different things. Uh, the roof, I initially wanted it not whole because I wanted because we don't have glass or anything in the game yet so I wanted this I think this would look really cool as a glass canopy because this is supposed to be like a spaceport or like a big airlock or something but that's okay uh we don't have glass yet I initially just left some holes in it say hey maybe we can uh pretend those are like glass holes but now I end up just filling it up later so I gotta remember just do one set at a time so I can just copy and paste it because it's a heck of a lot easier than building it separately so here I'm like okay let's do like a checkerboard pattern uh, at some point I go, nope, I don't like it. Change it. Change it up. And these are new wall pieces. I did not go over them in my initial video earlier today. Uh, but these are new wall pieces. They're, um, metallic something? I forgot the name of them. But they're just like big metal walls. They look very similar to like the panel walls you had in the past, but they do have little rivets on each of the corners, so it gives them a nice little interest piece. Finishing off the back wall here. Uh, yeah. Again, the bathroom doesn't really make sense, because I mean, it doesn't really go anywhere, but... Yeah, uh, suspension disbelief. Just pretend it's a portal to another dimension where the, the the bathroom is. Or something. I don't know. Let's go with that. Added <laughs> some more pieces. We'll like the look of these things. Since there are so few round pieces in the game, whenever I find some, I definitely uh, use them quite a bit. Some big electric panels up there. Looking really cool. Let's add in some vents. I do like the look of the vents. I think those are a really cool piece. I use them quite a bit here. Uh, so these, all these pieces are part of the sci-fi theme and you can change the color, but I really like just the base color look. So, uh, especially since it's our first time using this theme, I thought, okay, we could just use the base color as a real kind of, uh, gray and real beige color scheme. Just something real simple. I think it's really nice looking and it'll be nice to just, uh, use it just for this first theme to see what the, what the Planet Coaster developers intended when they made this color scheme. Things like that. Looking all right. Uh, making a smaller entrance here. So, the, they changed the entrances to the park. You can see it's just that little piece now. Um, it might get a little tight there, so we might try and expand it into several entrances in the future. Because, I mean, it gets pretty tight right there, like especially when people are coming and going. So, we might change that up in the future. But for now, we're just adding a different uh, little entrance there right before the large structure. And then I decided, okay, we'll just make this all one structure here, kind of envelop it together and then we'll have a little bit of grass here in the corner and then we'll just have that be like a little uh, gr like a like a greenhouse kind of inside of this spaceport or planet base or something something of that nature not really any specific design in mind but you kind of 
get the, the the thing about me and my building is it may not have a specific goal or design in mind but it's often about just the mood and feeling of the design if that makes any sense <laughs> I'm having trouble getting that point across. I also having trouble getting these colors to match here. I don't know what was going on there. I was like, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna tear it off. No, we'll just leave it open. Whatever. Trying to fill in that spot there, because these the new metal pieces they actually do not have a right triangle. It's very annoying. So I end up just taking one of the other uh, panel pieces that we've had in the past, and you're grabbing that right triangle. Okay, we'll just do that instead. Just fill it in. It's a similar color, so it looks all right. Uh, you know, it's nothing. It's not perfect, but it looks good. Structure is starting to come together. I love the shiny floor, especially when we get the big beam lights in at night. Oh, it looks so cool. There's these really cool looking lights that they've added. Here, check it out. Oh, I love the look of that. It looks so cool. Yeah, these things. Oh, it looks so cool. So I was trying to figure out a good way to place them. And I decided just to make them right in the middle and then kind of going back. And sorry if the camera was a little crazy there. These things aren't actually, um, well, the whole building was evenly numbered. So we kind of had to keep messing around there to make sure it was right in the center. But look at that, just the light on the floor. Oh, it looks so cool. I love how it looks, especially when this guest walking around. And I thought we'd go ahead and toss in our little robot mascots. And I didn't even notice these guys, but they have little feet sticking out of the bottom. I was confused, I'm like, are these actual robots? But if you look close on them, they have little feet sticking out of the bottom, kind of in the mist they're shooting out. It's really cool. And right here, I was taking those, um, those little circles. Those are the things that control where mascots go. I wasn't quite getting it to work right. Uh, I'll definitely try again off camera. Because I will want the robots to kind of stay in a specific area. And I think the the big entrance here would be a nice area for them to stay. Trying a couple different things to try and curb this. And I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just go ahead and add a curb using the curb feature. There we go. And it's a little weird on the corner there. So I'm like, oh, that's a good, good reason to put a little light there. Added some benches and some trash cans. Did you see that quick flash? The, there's another bench there that's really cool looking. It's like a, um, it's like a throne. It's pretty cool. So that'll be good for another fantasy style. They've added a whole bunch of new stuff, and they just have regular benches now too, which make me very, very, very happy. Trying to pick some new trees here. Oh, we got the oak trees. No, how about the Mar Marus Marsula tree? I think that's what it's called. Marusa, Mar something like that. It's like marsupial, but a tree. It's a little confusing, but whatever. Finishing off the path through here. And so this is just supposed to be the main entrance area. Uh, and then this kind of leads into the park. It's going to split to the left and the right. And uh, for some of the different areas in the park that we're going to have, like I've mentioned in the past, we're going to definitely do like a steampunk area, because that is also in the realm of science fiction. We're going to do a fantastic voyage where um, we're going to try and make it feel like you're shrunk down inside of a human body. So we're going to have like coasters flying through the bloodstream and then maybe like a big ride inside of a stomach with acid everywhere. Something like that. So working on ideas. And if you guys have any ideas and stuff, definitely uh, let me know. Oh, I just realized, dang it. <laughs> so... Uh, okay, it's recording uh, my Spotify overlay. So I listen to music when I play this and for some reason Spotify or Windows 10 updated And it's really annoying because now that thing pops up whenever I change a song I can't disable it. It just happened like the other day. I didn't even think Windows updated, but god uh, Very sorry about that guys. There's no way I can go and cut those out So yeah, right there I was listening to the Beast of Burden by Rolling Stones as long as I don't actually play the music I'm good and it's recording that too. the recording thing start. Okay, so the previous version of the game didn't do that. Huh. Okay, I'm going to turn that off, so I do apologize about those things, guys. I'm very sorry. Over here, I decided to have some little spaceships just kind of uh, crashed here. Well, not crashed, they, they, they landed. And messing around with some more of the props. Definitely uh, just having fun just looking around. These things are so cool. Using a select tool to move our little spaceship down with itty bitty wings. Kind of looks like a. Come on, what was it? Uh, it was a ship in Battlestar Galactica. It wasn't the main Viper, it was the other ship. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. You can drive me crazy. It's like the radar ship at Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna remember like as soon as the video's over. I guarantee, I guarantee you. But adding some more little ships around. There we have a little a couple of repair droids. Like, they're so cool, little animatronic droids kind of fixing the ships. There's a little mascot. I'm moving this guy so he's a little more visible. They're really cute looking, I like them. Adding some little crates and supplies. Tossing some rocks back there. Just some nice dress setting and some more canisters. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to redo this because the entrance is gonna get really cramped. Yeah, and it won't let me change the path there because this is the path that exits the park. That's a little annoying. Oh, uh, well, I like this park in general. This is one of the new maps. Uh, just because the entrance comes at an angle like this instead of straight on. So it's kind of diagonal into the park. Looks really cool. 
definitely makes me approach my uh, park layout in a different way because it's really narrow starting off and then expands more as you go out. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> and over here, uh, I decided I wanted to put some little uh, artificial fountains. Well, I guess they're all fountains are artificial, but just some fountains in here. And I had a cool idea for it. I'm like, okay, we'll just make a little box here and then we'll just sink in the ground and then fill with water. And it should look all right and actually ended up looking pretty cool. Uh, not too shabby. I ended up enjoying it. You're gonna look rather swell. I wish the water level was a little higher, but it was kind of limited to me on the water level. I was like, what is going on here? Oh well. Copying it over there, pushing the ground back down, and filling it with water. So now that we've gone through like the spaceport, we're actually like in the habitable area of the planet. That's the kind of idea I had. So that's why I had like the, the black rocks and stuff outside of it. So that's what this area is supposed to be. Again, just trying to think of some fun ideas and themes and things to do in this park. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try not sending fountains. Really not liking how they look. And I realize it's okay if uh, we can see the base of the fountain because from the uh, the, the guest point of view, they won't actually be able to see it. So I was checking there to make sure they can't see the little rings down there. I'm like, okay, that works. It looks good. That should work perfectly. Yep, yep, yep. Now what are we doing? Adding some lights to the top. Just trying to figure out a nice little pattern. Didn't want the con constant one. So I'm like, okay, maybe we'll just kind of stagger them out throughout. There we go, switch to nighttime. See, it's easy as that. Oh my god. I'm gonna switch from AM to PM. Looks freaking cool. Added some more lights all throughout there. Oh man. So my goal for this park, since we're doing a lot, it's gonna be a very, 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 very dense park. A lot of things kind of all smooshed together. Uh, gonna avoid doing the large open areas of just trees, just because I do have a lot of high hopes and ideas for this park. We're even gonna do verti verticality like that, where we're gonna have things on top of each other. I have a lot of high hopes for this park, and I have a lot of ideas to put into it. And we're still crammed on space. They, it seems they haven't updated, or uh, they're not going to change the size of the park, like kind of the footprint. I hope they do in the past. They're in the future. <laughs> I'm getting all confused here. I hope they do in the future, just because it'll be nice to actually, you know, expand your park, even if it's just like a little bit. I don't know. I just think it's a little bit cramped. I know the game's op the the size of the park is probably indicative to the optimization of the game currently, but yeah, I, I'm still hoping. There we go. Oh, I gotta, <laughs> so I let people in since we do it right now. And I was like, oh wait, I want to move this up a little bit so they all had to file out. Sorry guys, no refunds. Get out of here. Yeah, my park. I'm just kidding. You can come back. What am I doing now? Now what am I doing? See top. What are you doing? Go back to the game. See top. Okay, something distracted me. I don't remember what. <laughs> this is over like a course of a couple hours. Uh, don't like the color red on here. That's something they haven't added is actually the ability to change the color of the base of the rides when you raise them in elevation. So, okay. We'll just take some of the cool little panels here and move them across. Make it all nice and pretty. Again, these are just quick little uh, movements. Uh, once we get past the actual day of the beta, I will be doing guide videos, guys, so I'll be doing controls and stuff, because a lot of people ask me, like, uh, especially some people that currently have the alpha, or people that had access to the alpha during uh, the weekend in the park, whatever that special event was, they had some trouble with the controls, and the controls do take a long time to kind of get used to, like, I have, I don't know, I'd say over 100 hours in this game, I'd say probably like 200 hours in this game now, so it's taken me quite a while to get used to the controls, I still mess up from time to time. But I definitely will be uh, interested in making guides for you guys. The first one we do will definitely be a control guide. Just kind of movement, uh, the movement, kind of moving around the park, feel, getting a feel for the controls. Uh, moving the pieces around versus just moving it with your mouse and the advanced controls by hitting X. So things like that is what we'll uh, definitely be doing. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Because it should make it easier for you. Because these are things I just learned over dozens of hours. And you guys can just learn immediately in like a 10 minute video. So... Bully for you. I've been playing too much Civilization 6. Okay. Expanding the queue here. Decided I want to make it a little bit longer. It's weird doing these back and forth queues instead of my standard flowy queue. Like, I do those a lot, but since we are science and science fiction and things like that, everything should be straight and rigid and non flowing. Not really. That's silly. Trying to get that at the perfect height just so it's barely peeking above the flat ground. And then it spread it across there. So I know I wanted this area to be relatively contained. I uh, wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. But we ended up kind of just making it up as we go. You'll see it as we do it. What are we doing? Just looking around in the parts. It's going to be it's gonna be a large portion of these uh, time lapses. Just me looking around in the parts. Because there are so many new pieces. 
such little time. I share plenty of time. No, I don't. I want to do a video on this uh, park every day. Uh, every day for at least a week. I don't know, because I gotta capitalize on all the, the incoming views, right? All you, all you guys searching for the game. If this is your first video of watching of me, welcome. How's it going? How are you, how you doing? And for those, if it is your first time and you don't like the time lapses, don't bother asking. Um, I probably, at least aside from like the guide videos, I'll probably just do time lapses for every part. It's a much a more efficient way of doing it for me and you and you and you. <laughs> I don't know if that was, but yeah. Let's just do it. So I decided to make it like a repair bay, and we actually end up naming this ride the repair ring. And so it's what was that mascot doing up there? <laughs> he just like locked those people in. So I decided to make a little um. Spaceship right there, then we're gonna have some uh, repair droids around and some pieces and things like that, so I, I thought that was pretty cool like maybe you can imagine to repair the ship it flies through the ring and then like electricity Does something to repair it whatever man. I, I'm there's no lore in this park All right, you just take things at face value or as I tell you to take them Booyah <laughs> switch to the nighttime trying to figure out some lighting here just decided to do the the uh, the front on approach make it look all pretty Trying to navigate the menus, get back to the science fiction areas, then put a little engine on the ground there. Grab a little robot, have him fiddle around with it for a bit. There you go. Move it a little bit over to the side, just so it fit the entrance there a little bit better. Because I did want to overhang here, something just over it, so I can uh, put a name on the ride. Because we do have customizable panels now, where we can actually put names on things. So that's pretty sweet. I just added some lights over here. At some point I do add a name. Well, this is actually where I came up with the name. So when I was building this, I was just kind of having the flow of consciousness and just trying to build what I was building. And then I was like, oh wait, here's a cool idea. So we'll call it, well, Chris called call it Helion because that was the actual name, but we ended up changing it. Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys, in our science fiction park. Make sure you're hitting that like if you are enjoying and want to see more in the future if you're very excited for the beta. Oh, I'm sure you are. Oh, this is pretty cool looking already. I'll see you next time. Bye.